three for me, and this I, I could probably list off a hundred if I wanted to. But top three things that stick in my mind and are there, and whenever I think about them, I resonate back to the podcast. One is my journey into gratitude and mindfulness. Now, there's someone outside of our group here who, who put me on this journey, someone I worked with, but I think doing the podcast and talking through it and realizing how much of it is there and actually realizing how much of it I think I used to do and then I stopped doing that's a whole other episode we'll talk about but the whole mindfulness gratitude thing and putting it into practice and being aware of it is a is one of my big things that I've taken away for myself number two I would say Joe is consistency the the consistency is king if you just if you if you do something when you know every day or every week or every month or every hour whatever it is but being consistent you're 90 percent of the way there and whatever you want to do just be consistent and that the results happen if you do the things you're going to do it will happen and where it goes wrong for people where it has gone for me in the past personally is where i haven't been consistent and it's key i see it in all places in my life now and number three and this is the biggest one for me joe and it's probably not the biggest thing in my arsenal of what I do or how I do things or everything but I think it's the biggest because it's the first thing I really consciously remember where you said something that really challenged a mindset for me that has really stuck and that is focus on the journey not the outcome it's and again you've got to have a goal you've got to be working towards something and I was talking to someone about this recently but by focusing on just the journey what's the step in front of you make sure you're going in the right direction but focus on that next step because actually if it starts to go wrong you can change direction you can pivot you can adapt whereas if you just focus on the outcome and you're not getting there and I think that my illustrate oh, and I referred to it earlier as the Evan Carmichael scale which I think is brilliant because he's obviously the person who put you on this journey but we didn't look at this for years we in fact went for a period Joe didn't we where we were growing this and we actually said let's just not look at the stats let's not look at listens or views or whatever let's just do it and I think we went through six months where we didn't look we now do and we bop in and out but it's not the primary focus over the four years we can now track our growth against the person you emulate the person we you know that put you on this path to doing it and we are on track with that but i'd say we're largely on track with it because we're not trying to be on track with it and i just that the, the journey thing is probably my biggest my personal biggest takeaway just because it was a real shift in mentality <laughs>